Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Before we crack on, I just want to head up here quickly. I don't have any fish yet. <laughs> Space hamster! Right. Oh, I'm a set. Right, let's have the defender. Or should we? Let's try the defender out, see how that stacks up. Right, let's finish off exploring this system and then we'll head back to the Citadel. Damn it. Signal confirmed. Thank you. Wrong way. There we go. What have you got for me? Citadel Banner of the First Regiment. Oh, that's for. Ah, uh, that's for some Turians in Purgatory. Right. Oh, shit. Yep. Reapers eluded. Ah, right, it's there. Faster than light jump successful. Right, what are you? Right, some fuel, that's fine. Right, you're 100% done. Evasion successful. Shit. Why are you all up here? Two hundred seventy ninth flotilla. Excellent. No, bugger off. Reapers eluded. You don't kill me. Hundred percent assets done. All right, cool. That's this system one hundred percent complete. Or cluster, whatever. All right. Alright, uh, we've unlocked some more stuff. Rescue the students. You're all done. Mute the diplomats. We're not going to do that yet. Minos Wasteland. Strike Abyssal. Right, so you've got you. That's good. Huh, all right. right, we'll go here first and rescue the students because that's a time sensitive one. I can't remember how long you can leave it before it gets locked. Right, nothing else in here. Go to Grissom Academy. Alright. Oh god, what's we? 
One day I'll get a proper second monitor. Who should we take? We'll take Garrus and Liara. Ah, I can now add some stuff. What do you do? This is capacity. What? What's the boost? Can it really cool? boost appears thick objects, but at sixty percent reduced damage, it ignores twenty five percent of defense. That sucks. I don't want that. Your personal touch. All right, I've got some points to spend. Where to spend them is the question. Go with fitness. Health and shield bonus. Increase melee damage. Decrease self recharge delay. Go with that one. Right. You guys are. On auto, so that's fine. And there's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Hey, boy, Joker. Nicely done. Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. God, Shepard's thick with that armor on, isn't he? always said you were the best and with Cerberus coming for my students I need the best how many of you are there fewer than 20 most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread but a few volunteered to stay some are prototyping tech for the Alliance others are biotics they've been training for military operations working together as biotic artillery you said something about Admiral Anderson yes we met God what's it been 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. Oh We've dear, see the helmet moving with his... <laughs> Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance. <laughs> good. Oh. We get out of here. Well, just tell him to stay alive. I can't not I can't not see that now. I might have to switch back to the other armor because that's just distracting. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. 
But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Frobert. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. But maybe we could ditch the helmet. Uh, not in here, is it? No. Uh, I'll get the door for you. Guess we'll just have to. We'll just have to deal with it. Damn. I need to keep an eye out for collectibles. Then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. We'll find her, don't you worry. Alright. Let's do a quick explore. Not like there's anything to collect around here, but Yes there is. See? I never doubted it. Nothing there. Instructors log, the kids are getting better at this shit, but I'm worried. I don't think we've got enough time to pull this off, and there's just no way they could really survive out there without more way of tra without way more training, not without any field experience at all. Doing my best to get them ready. Didn't think I'd ever care this much, but I won't let it. Anyone hurt them? They're my kids, mine. This. Tactical analysis review student. First name, bunch of numbers. Unshielded opponent approaching at 2 o'clock. Shielded opponent approaching at 12 o'clock. Both holding heavy pistols. Most effective way to take them down. I chose shockwave. Correct answer, singularity followed by warp. Instructor comments, shockwave inadequate against shielded enemy. Your barrier would hold long enough against heavy pistols for a singularity to catch both. Warp on the warp on the unstable biotic field created by the singularity results in an explosion neutralizing both enemies.
Got you, you little bastard. Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Alright. There's the sister saved. Of course you will. Yes! Favorite one. Commander, I just got an emergency message from the students in Orion Hall. One of our instructors is with them, but they can't hold out much longer. Well, look who it is. Jack. Shepherd. Cool. Oh, come on. I ducked. isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom <laughs> grab juice and an energy bar we move in five <sighs> uh. 
Damn it! How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? You're not telling me anything I haven't told myself, Jack. Oh, you feel bad? Well, shit. I bet that's a big comfort to all the people Cerberus has killed. As charming as ever. Good to see you again, Garrus. Face still looks like shit. Okay, right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing Hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The server's cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. How does camera right. access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. All right, let me just do a quick explore. Uh, catch priority alpha, bring back bring back alive at all costs. Vital retrieval subject due to high level biotic abilities, paired with high leadership testing scores. Consider prime candidate for indoctrination and high level enhancements for subsequent long term infiltration relocation. Sanders, you should have access now. All right. Sorry. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just stealing all your shit. There we go. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. All right, Jack, we've got a plan. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. <laughs> What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base. Throwing husks around, making shockwaves all over the place. Ugh, I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk him to death. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. Damn. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. All right. Hey, 
Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those bu Those guys from above. Gives them some cover, too. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissom Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be half. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. Time to nut up or shut up. I believe that's what Jack was getting at. Right, nothing in here. Damn it. Liara, could you not? Seriously, Liara? Shit. Don't have any grenades, shit.
God damn it. Why is this thing not fucking dying? Damn it. Yeah, hold on, I need to get some ammo. Alright, ammo is full. Nothing here. Kaylee, we're in the atrium. I'm taking him backward to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. All right, got some health. That's good. Or oh, credits. Thank you. Nice one, friendly. Take dodgeball, Rodriguez. Keep your damn barriers up. Oh, hello. Everyone okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't wash her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing though. You need to hurry. All right, let me just do a quick check. Any collectibles? I think we're good. I'm not sure if this armor is actually better than what I had before, so I might just switch back on those grounds. Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy and I've got no reason to buy it now. The square root of 906.01 equals 30.1. Hello, Commander Shepard. David, you know him? Yes. He rescued me from Cerberus. Sent me here. He made it quiet. Hey, David. You did a great job keeping yourself safe. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks. He looks better. I remember you. Normandy crew. Sorry. It was never your fault. Has Grissom Academy been all right? Yes. I've been counting. Anything in particular? The number of days you lengthened my life. The security office. I hacked the lock. Guns. Lots of guns. 
Goodbye. Goodbye, David. Bless him. He's all right. Ooh, I think this is actually the better one. Yeah, that's the one. Excellent stuff. I don't think there's anything else in here. Nope. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Oh, good. I'm glad I picked that up. Somebody needs that on the Citadel. the mech. Yeah, you are. There we go. Excellent. Ah, I like the mech. Hurry, Commander. The Normandy has pulled the cruiser out of position. We need to leave now. We're leaving. We're, we're here. We're going. Let's Haley, get going. How's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? <laughs>
Yeah. Joker, we flew out on the Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. All right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am! I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. What, does she have a swear jar or something? Because I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. <laughs> for sore eyes. Good to see you too, sir. Sir? I may have reinstated you, but that doesn't give me permission to go all formal on me. <laughs> then I'm glad you managed to keep your ass alive, Anderson. That's more like it. Looks like you didn't waste any time getting to work. I can only imagine what would have happened to those kids if they'd fallen into Cerberus hands. They're definitely eager to help. These students are some of the best humanity has to offer, and we're throwing them into battle. God damn it, I hate this war. Hackett didn't mention in his report. Kaylee Sanders is safe. She's with the recruits. Thanks, Shepard. When I heard about the attack, well, I've already lost a lot of friends. She asked me to tell you to stay alive. <laughs> Did she now? Well, thanks, Shepard. That might be the first good news I've heard this week. Anderson out. Or some stuff. Alright, good. Now we've got Jack and the kids safe. You see the feed from Halibut? It's brutal. And the knees the turkeys are like. The birds don't quit when things get ugly. I'll give them that. Commander, you have an encrypted message from a Miranda Lawson. Cool. I just got word. Everyone from Grissom Academy has arrived safely. We wouldn't have known about them if you hadn't caught the distress signal. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. Commander? Alright, do I have any mail? I do, yes. From Miranda. Commander, I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel by Bay D24. Uh, from Stephen Hackett. Hi, Commander. I didn't have time to thank you properly after you got us out of the Academy, and Admiral Hackett agreed to send this your way. While my students are out on duty, I'm doing what I can to help the Crucible. It's an amazing project, more advanced than anything I'd, I've ever seen before. Some of my more tech-minded kids are staying back to help out too. And watching them work, it's the future, Commander. This project will inform human progress for generations. And I'll have you to thank for it. All my best, Kaylee Sanders. Well, you are very welcome, Kaylee. Just doing what I can with what I've got. All right, let's go have a chat with Joker. So Jack's an instructor? I guess anyone who messes with biotic kids gets turned into a small stain on the floor and ceiling. Ooh, and that was Cerberus attacking the Academy. That must have been like Christmas for her. Anyway, nice job on getting them out of there. They were throwing out some impressive biotic power. Good. We could use some heavy hitters in the biotics department. 
It'll be good for them, too. Biotics face a lot of discrimination. Maybe if they save the galaxy, people will get over their issues. I didn't expect you to be sensitive about that. Hey, I'm just tired of them stealing the spotlight from people with actual disabilities. <coughs> I break ribs if I sneeze too hard. Being able to move crap with your mind is not a handicap. <laughs> Commander? Hey, Nate. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> oh, I love you, Edie. How did you and Joker make it out of Dry Dock to rescue us? Oh, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of Operator Control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Alright. It's that time again where we go around and have a chat with everybody, see what everyone's issues are. I don't remember if, the, if Mass Effect 3 has loyalty missions. Let's talk to everyone just to make sure. Hey, Liara. New information on the private messages terminal. Oh, thank you. David, uh, you won't get this for a while unless you find an extra net connection working on Earth. I've made it out to this weapon we're building. The device isn't even halfway complete and it's the most breathtakingly complicated piece of technology I've ever seen. I wish you could see this thing we're creating. It gives me hope. Take care for my sake. Hey Sanders, checking in on the kids. 
How are they, Jack? They're all good. This going to be long? i kind of got crap to do. I wanted to tell you I persuaded some Alliance friends to part with that biotic amp you and the children were testing at Grissom. You can pick it up on the Citadel. Damn, one of the L3X1s? You know how much shit I could tell one of those installed? I had an idea. Look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And hey, thanks. Ah, oh, Jack, you're getting soft. If what Javit says is true, his people were imperialists who left the rest of the galaxy quaking in terror. And I think he would sacrifice all of us without a thought if he could bring them all back again. I reviewed my old notes today. They're so childish. Did we romanticize the Protheans because we were we were dazzled by their technology? The, te the technology they left behind? All these Are these really the people I dedicated my life to studying? Certainly seems that way. It was odd to see an entire academy just for biotic children. Don't Asari have biotic schools? Every Asari school includes biotic training programs. It's basic education. Still, those children in the academy were very impressive. I'm sure Jack's proud. Hello again. I'm sure she is. <coughs> Garrus! One of the worst parts of this war is watching the kids react. If they're lucky, they grow up thinking the galaxy is basically a decent place. Some rough spots here and there, but for the most part, life makes sense. Now they find out it was all a lie. They wake up to see these things in the dark that just want to destroy everyone they ever cared about. If they survive, there'll be a lot of angry orphans out there looking for answers. Cool, thanks guys, good talk. Hmm. Life just wouldn't have been complete if I didn't see Jack one more time. It's nice to see she's downgraded from dangerous lunatic to mildly insane. You have to admit, though, she did see through Cerberus back in the day. I might have even listened, but her tattoos gave me a headache every time she walked into the room. Looks like we beat Cerberus again. Do you think the elusive man fires lieutenants over failures like this, or just lines them up against the wall and gets it over with? I wish they had had a Grissom Academy for Turians when I was growing always wanted to learn how to paint. Now I mostly paint walls with Reaper blood. Not the same, but it's a living. So who needs their ass kicked now? So who needs their ass kicked now? All right. Uh, yeah, we should probably go down, check on Steve, James, and Javik, and then we'll, we will head back to the Citadel. Okay, that's an auto save button. Interesting. Breaking now. A city of four million blasted from orbit. Adelaide, Australia is no more. New footage from Earth reveals the Reapers' plans to attack large industrial centers. Which cities are next? Find out inside the battle space. Cerberus stealthily strikes star system shield. No, glad I read that one out loud. Do we need to talk, Commander? Not right now, Ellers. Let me know when we do. Alright. Oh, there you go, map. Oh, Jeffix on the sub subdeck stairwell. Alright. There he is. Hey, Javik. Commander, I was exploring your ship. Find anything interesting? One of your crew lives in this space. There are traces of anger. That was Jack. Anger was her specialty. Traces of her pain are still present. I'm told she sought revenge against Cerberus when she was here. A goal you helped fulfill. I hope you will do the same for me. At least I have better quarters. During our fight against the Reapers, we had no time for teaching the young anything but war. 
Only the foolish mourn the loss of innocence. It is inevitable. The galaxy has never rewarded the naive. Commander. Always a delight talking to you, Javik. Right, now we can go down and have a chat with Steve. Steve and James. Hey, Pooch. Recording from Ferris Fields months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved, said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking to him when the collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. I'm sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits, there's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here, anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard, I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. There you go, Steve, you're all right. I don't want to trigger a, a, a throw mats with him, so, uh, Need to remember what option to not press. I don't know, is it worth keeping that one? The health boost is better on that one. Yeah, I'll keep it. Looks quite cool. Hey James, how you doing? That jack is a mean SOB. But kind of hot. If you like that sort of thing. So, Anderson and Sanders. That's quite a couple. Huh. My dad's last name is Sanders. No relation. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Maybe we're getting indoctrinated. Uh, let's see. Anything worth buying? No, but we can upgrade some weapons. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's that done. All right. We've spoken to everyone we can, so let's head back to the Citadel now. We'll land here and then we'll call this an episode, I think. Because yeah, we've just hit the hour mark. Uh, we won't go to Dr. Bryson's lab yet. That triggers a whole load of DLC.
Just our way of welcoming you back, Flight Lieutenant. Uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission. Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? Uh, embassy's hospital. I need to get to the hospital. Yes, Commander. We'll go to the hospital and then call this an episode. Here we go. Right. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This will be Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.